All right, LeBron. All right. You're out of excuses. KD is down. I think he'll be back before the playoffs, but KD is down. But more importantly, it's more importantly, you wanted a playmaker. You got a playmaker. You wanted more help. You have now just gotten the big man who essentially him going down was the reason that y'all were able to even get past the Warriors last year. Let's make that very, very abundantly clear. It was it was old Andrew Bogut going down that saved y'all. I remember the block party. I remember the block party. It, ah, oh, no, we can't get anything. I remember. I remember before he was injured, y'all were not getting nothing, right? Okay, so if you are, this is, this is my opinion, if you are the best player in the world, which you so often claim to be, that so many people claim you to be, I don't believe you're the best player in the world. I don't believe that. I have my reasons. But let's say objectively that you are the best player in the world. You now have, when you, when, if you're healthy, let me go, of course, this is all barring health, but J.R. Smith will be coming back. Iman Shumpert will be coming back. You have one of the best three-point shooters in history in Kyle Korver. You have one of the most efficient big men in history in Kyle, uh, Kevin Love. You have probably the, the point guard with the best handles in the league and one of the most killer instincts in the league in Kyrie Irving. Um, definitely a dead-eye shooter in J.R. Smith also and Kyle Korver. Uh, you have Andrew Bogut, the the one factor that was stopping y'all from that was preventing y'all from winning a championship. Um, you said you want another playmaker. Darren Williams has been playing out of his damn mind this year, um, looking like the old D Will. Uh, I mean, what else do you need? That's it. You have no excuse. And people say, "Well, KD starting lineup." I'm gonna tell you something about the playoffs. Playoffs are not won because of starting line, starting lineups. Playoffs are won, championships are won for two reasons. Because of defense and because of your bench. The Warriors did not destroy teams with their starting lineups. And that was actually evidential in, last, in the last na- uh, championship. Yeah, their starting lineup put up numbers in that finals game. Curry didn't do as well as he should have. Cool. But... Clay put up numbers. Uh, Draymond put up numbers. Iggy was doing his little thing. But the problem was they couldn't get any scoring off of that bench. And when you can't get any scoring off of your bench in the finals after your starters are worn out, you can't win. So now you're not talking about you're not talking about going seven men deep if you're the Cavs at this point. Because that's how the Warriors can destroy people in the playoffs. They go nine, ten deep, and they can do that without even blinking an eye. You're talking about going the same, man. Eight, nine, perhaps even ten men deep uh, in the finals. So you have no more. If you're the best player in the world, let me let me premise that. If you are the best player in the world, you have no more excuses. You got to go get you a ring. You can't. KD, what about Curry? What about? You have, they have what? Four, KD, Draymond, Klay Thompson will definitely end up going in the Hall of Fame too. And Steph Curry, four Hall of Famers. In your starting lineup, you have you, LeBron, Hall of Fame, Kevin Love, Hall of Fame, Kyrie's absolutely going to the Hall of Fame, and uh, actually, D. Will will be going to the Hall of Fame also. If you don't think D. Will will be going to the Hall of Fame, you better check how many Hall of Famers have gone to the conference finals, have been a perennial player on their team, leading them to the conference finals, and have not made the Hall of Fame. That would be nobody. So D. Will will also be going to the Hall of Fame. Um... Andrew Bogut will be going to the Hall of Fame also, uh, being a perennial player on a championship team and on a finals team. Uh, I mean, they won't be, Darren and, and Bogut won't be first ballot, but they will be Hall of Famers. So, either way, but if you're the best player in the world, you should be able to do three Hall of Famers and still win a championship against that uh, against that uh, Warriors team. If you are the dominant offensive and defensive player that you claim to be, that the world claims you to be, that your fans claim you to be, that the Cavs claim you to be, that commentators claim you to be. So we will see how you act. We're going to see. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think.